Happy October. In the house, and there's no things in it yet. Still not living here. Um, I don't even know what's today, the 6th, something like that. Um, but I'm here today. I brought some things over from my mom's. I, this is my kitchen. Okay, so today, it's probably super echoey in here. I have brought some stuff over to my mom's and I started to set up my office. Um, as you saw in last month's vlog, I was kind of putting together my packs, wardrobes, and some of the furniture. And today I brought over my makeup and I started to unpack some of it. Just the makeup that I actually drove cross country with. There's so much makeup that I packed with the movers who still aren't here. Whole nother story. But I figured I would give you kind of an overview of what the house looks like right now. So this is the view from the front door. Front door, living room, kitchen. And I think I told you guys last month, this, this right here used to be a wall. You can see where it was and we knocked it down. Um, and from this wall, actually no, from the door, all of this is getting knocked down. Um, in that door is the garage and we are going to be making part of the garage an expansion of the kitchen. And I will show you why. So in the garage, it is so bad in here, so don't judge, but there's a little step right here. So I can only park my car to right here anyway. Um, so this is just kind of wasted space and the laundry was here. So we decided that we were gonna put, build a wall and a door, and we are going to make this the laundry. I'm gonna have some pantries over there and some more cabinet space. So it will just be like one continuous thing from there throughout. This house is very small. And so this kitchen was very small. So I don't know if you guys can see, but this is where the stove is going to be. I'm gonna have a pantry there. My sink will be right here. And if you remember last month's vlog, I had a giant window here. So we took that out, shrunk it, and put a smaller window so I could, because the sink used to be over here. So we moved the sink here. You can see the plumbers did their thing. And my fridge is going to go here. I have a dishwasher going right here, and there will be cabinets. Right here, where this other wall was, there's going to be a peninsula, which is going to just come out, and there'll be two um, stools there. And that is what I'm gonna use for a dining area because I'm, I really don't have a dining space. The way that this room is, there's the hallway and here's the entryway. So I'm planning to have couch, TV, and peninsula. Here will be an entryway table with a mirror. Hopefully I'm not moving around too fast on you guys and making you wanna vomit. Um, here's all my cabinets. Um, those are lights for the bathroom, but there's cabinets everywhere the workers' tools, and all that. So that is the house when you walk in. Down here is all of the bedrooms. I think I showed you guys this last month in the empty um, house walkthrough that I did. This is one bathroom. This room is going to be my fitness room. That is my outdoor patio. That's my backyard. That will be all I have big plans. This is going to be my gym workout area. This is the only back entrance to the yard though, which kind of sucks, but it's fine. And I've showed you guys my yard a bunch of times. We're gonna be replacing these screens because whoever lived here before trashed this place pretty much. And there's going to be some fencing that's going to go up over here so the dogs have a nice big yard to play in, um, which is awesome. So then, 
We come here and there is the master and there is the office. And this is what you guys saw last month. I was setting up my PAX wardrobes. They're not completely set up because the movers have the drawers that are gonna go here. So I don't know if I mentioned this in my vlog, I think I did. I had one PAX and I had two Billy bookshelves and they fucked up my estimate so bad that they could not bring the bigger pieces of furniture. So I got rid of the frame because the frame was $85 and I had them take the drawers. I took the hardware to those drawers. And what I ended up doing instead is buying a second frame, buying shelves. So these shelves will be basically serve the purpose my bookshelf, my bookcase did. And I had seven drawers in my packs. So I took four here and three here and I bought another drawer to make it two PAX units that are the same. In the center will either be a mirror or my two other makeup storage units if they come in one piece from the movers, we shall see. My desk, I did a DIY for, which I believe I showed you before and afters of that in last month's vlog, but I really like how it came out. I really liked, it's kind of like an art deco vibe. And I, it was like a beige, like a dingy beige color. And I got it off Facebook Marketplace and I just basically painted it white and added new, brand new brass cup pulls. And I think that it came out really cute. Don't mind the mess everywhere, I just had lunch. Um, and I have boxes and these papers are down here to protect the rug because people are still, you know, walking around. So I have this here um, so that no one steps on my rug. But anyway, my new kitchen barrel, it's in here. I have a candle going because it smells good and vibes. So over here is a bookshelf. It's a geometric bookshelf from Wayfair. I actually just got it and put it together the other day and it came damaged and I'm pissed and Wayfair is sending me some new pieces. Um, this is kind of peeling off right here. And then this piece got completely smashed in, in transit. So that kind of sucks. So I'm just waiting for my replacement pieces so that I can fix it. Um, my neon sign is there. Uh, ultimately, this is going to be my backdrop for my videos, but this is a very rough shell of what's happening. I had to set up a coffee bar over here because I don't have a kitchen and a girl needs her coffee. So I have a bunch of these kitchen containers. Um, so I used some to put some snacks in here. My mom had an extra Keurig that was brand new that she didn't use. So she gave this to me and she had K-cups and I just picked up this to-go coffee mug. It's actually a coffee mug, but it is also to-go. It has a little lid and everything. I'm obsessed. It's, you would think it would be plastic because it's a to-go mug, but no, it's not. And I love it. So um, yeah, this is my little coffee station. I've got some extra decor over here and then here, I set up all of the makeup that I packed. So I got these little bins at Home Goods, which I needed anyway. And I just am using them for now to separate out my makeup. So I've got my highlights, bronzers, blushes. This is all lip products. And then I need to go get a couple more because this is foundations and brows and primers and all that stuff. This is all new PR new PR. So this is sort of my beauty station for now. So I'm obviously still staying at my mom's house um, because I don't have a bed and I don't have my things, but I'm coming over here during the day to get some stuff done. I have a few sponsored um, campaigns I have to work on and um, I'm gonna go do that now. Oh, hello. <laughs> I'm in the car, what do you know? I am currently on my way to the nail salon because makeup on my hand, yes. I actually uh, have been getting gel manicures because moving and 
renovating has been really brutal on my nails. So I've been doing gel manicures every two weeks because they're keeping my nails safe and my nails are actually growing now, which is great. But the reason that I am going is because I have a project I'm working on for a brand and I need to get a close-up shot of me swatching eyeshadows and my nails are like all grown out and gross. And I don't think anybody wants to see that. So I get my nails done. I have to return some stuff to Hobby Lobby. I got these like pompous grass, like this faux pompous grass stuff. Um, and I don't like it. I don't, I just don't like it. I don't like the tone. I just, I don't like it. So I'm returning it. And um, I have to go to the new house. I should just call it my house, my house. I have to go to my house. Um, I have to work on that project. I worked on half of it, like some of it yesterday, but I have to work on more of it today. The house is, you know, coming along slowly but surely. I brought a bunch of stuff in the car to bring over there. I'm just trying to do like a little bit every day, like one car load every day. I'm just trying this delicate balance between maintaining mental health, progressing on the house, and still accomplishing work. I published a video yesterday for the first time in like over a week, and my podcast didn't get up last week. I have to get one up tomorrow, but I don't even think I'll be able to. Just, I don't know when I'm going to get that done. I've been at the other house every single day. Or at my house, not my mom's house every single day and I can't record the podcast there because they're banging and, and sawing and all that shit. So, you know, whatever. I know you guys get it. I am really trying not to be too hard on myself because otherwise I'll lose my mind. <laughs> so anyway, um, all right, well, I'm going to the nail salon and Hobby Lobby. And uh, I guess I'll check in with you guys later. Quick update on my overall moving situation. I did finally get a phone call from the movers. Uh, they are supposed to be coming with my stuff. So they called and said they were leaving Vegas on Sunday and they would arrive between five and seven days and they would give me a 24 hour heads up that my stuff would be here. I picked up my stuff August 17th. Uh, today is the 13th. So it's literally going to be like two months almost to the day. So we've been on like a mad dash scramble to get the rest of the house painted, well, the back of the house. I'll say the back of the house because the living room and kitchen will not be done by the time my stuff is here. We ran into a crazy debacle with the person who was working on my house. My mom found out that he was fudging his hours. He was taking over a week to do something that should have taken him a day and we called him out on it and this is somebody who's been working for my mother for a long time and she's like helped him out a lot and um we called him out on it and he basically tantrumed and so my mom was like you're not working on the house anymore so now we have someone new who is going to be working but we lost a week of progress which i mean is it a loss of progress when someone's taking like three, four times as long to do something as they need to, you know? Anyway, uh, long story short, there's a new worker coming tomorrow and my, he says my kitchen will be done in, in a week and a half. So by the end of next week, so my stuff will be there for like a week before my kitchen is going to be done. And we have not painted the living room because it's full of cabinets. So we can't paint the living room until the cabinets are out of the living room and installed in the kitchen. So it's gonna be a minute before the front of the house is settled. So basically all my boxes have to go in the garage and then I can set up my bedroom 
and my fitness room, but I will not be able to set up my living room and kitchen. So that's partial good news, but it's starting to look nice in there. Yesterday I set up the bathroom. I figure I will show you guys kind of like where it's at once I get to the house. Okay, so mission accomplished in uh, Hobby Lobby. Got exactly what I went in there for. And now I'm going into Target. There's some new stuff out from uh, Hearth and Home Magnolia. And I just figured they have such limited stuff here because this is like kind of a small town-ish. Um, I wanted to run in and see if they had what I was looking for before they sell out because I noticed with the hearth and home some stuff sells out and then you'll never get it again there's some towels hand towels I wanted to see about and some cozy blankets and a, a throw pillow um, so I just even though I won't have a couch for a while I just wanted to see if they have this pillow before it sells out and so that's what we're going to do <music> is on his way over so I have literally black two black eyes Great. fail on that mascara um, so I just figured I would show you guys what everything's looking like right now as of today so at the front door my kitchen is still looking like this obviously the work has not been done so this is the living room and the kitchen still a mess we have some progress down here uh, not so much in there. I did take these off um, painting that. Um, and here, this is my fitness room, and I just have a bunch of stuff kind of in here for now. Some stuff that's supposed to go out there. Um, in the master, right now, I have my two side tables and my two lamps that I showed you guys um, in last month's vlog, I think that I was shopping for that I got at Home Goods. Um, I've got my rug that's going to be going down. And then the bathrooms are kind of coming together. So this is a rug. I didn't take the tags off yet because I'm going to pull it back up, but this rug is from World Market. Um, I did finish painting these cabinets and I think they just, they came out so great. Um, I don't know if I showed you guys the before of what they looked like, but I will insert them here. And then I just got this soap at Home Goods and a candle at Walmart. And then because I have like such a tiny little counter and at my apartment I had a huge counter, um, I picked up this uh, shelf unit thing at Home Goods. It was like $40 and I picked up these little what do you call them? Little baskets at Ikea. And I just figured I would put my skincare and any extra things. I've got some perfumes here, some skincare. Um, I would just house it there because like I said, I have nothing. I can't really put much here. Um, so this is the master toilet area. And then in here is the shower area. Now the shower area has access both bathrooms have access to it. Um, we are gonna be renovating this bathroom, so when we do, this wall will come down and these two rooms will be one, and then this door will stay um, so other people can access it. This is the shower curtain. I got this at Home Goods, and I really just love it. I love the texture of it, and I love these little polka dots. Um, I did get the hooks from Target. These are uh, Magnolia, Hearth and Hand. Nothing exciting in here. <laughs> I just got a shower caddy in here and my towel. Um, I got this little stool at Home Goods. It was like 20 bucks. The vase is from Home Goods as well. That little brush thing I had. And then this rug, tags are still on it. I got it at Amazon. I loved it because it had the little 
textured dots on it, which kind of went with my shower curtain. It is off white. The shower curtain is white with like, um, almost like a taupe stripe in it. It's very subtle. Um, I, I think it goes, I think it's fine. I reason I got ivory was because this rug ha is ivory and gray. Um, and I think it's just all fine because the OCD in me is like, uh, does that go? But it really, it does. And this little vase kind of ties it all. And I'm going to have some branches here. There was a door here. I took it off. Um, as you can see, this was the hinge because it opened in. And when these doors were open, it was like two doors in the room and I couldn't stand it. So I just decided to take the door off and I just painted this for now. But like I said, this wall is coming down. So that is the deal in here. And then I will quickly show you my office. I do have this stuff still on the floor so that if anybody walks in here, they're not stepping on my carpet. Uh, it's a little bit of a clusterfuck because this is the only functioning room I have at the current moment. Um, I think I showed you guys this stuff. Um, I did pick up a couple extra plants. They're not going to live here, but they are for the moment. Um, these are the two vases, uh, the vase and the planter that I picked up at Hobby Lobby today. Um, this one, it's like a nice textured, I don't know, it's like ceramic, but it's meant to look like clay or like terracotta. And then this one is a cement planter. And this was $5, okay? Five bucks. So excited. And then this one was 20 So, yeah, and then this is the plant that I picked up at Lowe's today. Uh, this Monstera, I've had it. I picked it up like when I first got here at Lowe's. And then I got a ZZ plant because um, these are pretty easy to take care of. And the last one I had, I was very successful with. So I wanted to uh, get one of those. So this is what is going on here. kitchen he is um we got a new worker and he is kicking ass taking names my fridge is actually not going to go there anyways uh this is still what my living room looks like but this is kind of the shell of the kitchen at this time um i'm still going to have like an island thingy right here so this wall came down and this wall here got built, the door got moved to over here, and my washer dryer is going to go here. Water heater is gonna get boxed in. You won't even know that that's there. And this still needs to be closed up and all that. I mean, there's still so much to be done, but I just wanted to show you guys, like this is basically one day, and this guy got all this done, which just goes to show the guy that was working for my mom was just, not doing what he was supposed to be doing. So that's super fun. I am running to the store right now. They have like a cool little um, health food store here called Earth Origins. And it's kind of like home Whole Foods meets like Trader Joe's meets Sprouts, but it's like a little boutique size. It's like a small store, but I'm gonna go pick up a few snacks. My mom and the, the worker went to lunch um, I am trying to put together a TV mount, which I'm going to do when I get back, but right now I'm going to get some snacks. I know what I was thinking as I just finished eating our coconut butter cup. I really haven't explored this neighborhood. like where I'm actually living because I've been at my mom's for the last two months. So, has it been a full two months? Almost. 
So I need to like go down to the ocean and like check it out and stuff, but like I haven't even had time to do that. So it's just really weird. Like I know the tiny, small, little area that I live in in relation to all the stores. <laughs> like I know where Home Goods is, where the grocery store is, Home Depot, shit like that. But I really haven't explored, explored. It's so strange because I feel like I've been here forever, but I also feel like I haven't started living yet. Yeah. So weird. Bitches in the creeks. Bitches in the creeks. My hair is wretched. Um, yeah. Hi. <laughs> Today, oh, gi giant fucking birds. Oh, it's a dead animal and no are vultures. Welcome to Florida. So we're halfway through October. Today is Saturday. Theoretically, my belongings were supposed to arrive tomorrow. However, they told me I would get a 24-hour phone call. Uh, a 24-hour prior to delivery. Um, and I haven't gotten any phone calls. So I don't think my shit's coming Sunday. I think it's going to end up being like Monday or Tuesday. Why it takes eight days, nine days, ten days to get here from Vegas, not sure. I don't know how many other deliveries they had. But anyways, so the guy, as I showed you yesterday, the guy who is working on my house is like kicking ass. In two and a half days, the kitchen is almost finished and now he wants to lay the floor. Hmm. So. I, last, I spent last night perusing Pinterest because here's the thing. My whole house has vinyl plank flooring that looks like wood. It was in the house originally when the house was purchased. It's not my favorite whatsoever. Um, but the problem, because we rearranged the kitchen when we moved cabinets and walls and stuff, there was no floor there. That floor no longer exists. So I cannot put the same flooring down. I cannot also put another wood because that wood wouldn't match the wood in the rest of the house and it would look ridiculous. So the only option I have now is to put tile and make it completely different and intentional. So I hadn't picked out anything because everything rides on the countertops. I don't know what the countertops are gonna end up being. I know I have an idea of what I want but it sucks because I wanted kind of like a, a marble look to the countertops. If I don't get white countertops, I could do a marble look to the floor. But if I get white marble countertops, I don't wanna do a white marble floor, not actual marble, but like porcelain tile look. White cabinets, white countertop, white backsplash, you know? So I was perusing Pinterest and I came across a picture of Studio McGee's bathroom. What she did was she took a 6x12 gray tile that was probably porcelain but made to look like cement. But it could have been it could have been terracotta. I don't know. She she went with the clay tile and they are pricey, but they have like amazing tiles made in like Spain and Morocco and whatever. Anyway, do you care about tile? I don't know. This is adulting shit. Um anyway. She had these gray cement looking tiles that were like six by 12 and the way that she laid them was like two together and then two turn the other way. I'll insert the photo so you guys can see. I thought it looked really nice. My vibe that I'm going for is very earthy, very like old world European restoration hardware-ish but also like very um earthy. I think I just, I've been craving nature so much that all I want is nature in my house. But at the same time, I also, I think I mentioned to you guys, like, girly glam is also my vibe. So I'm trying to blend the two styles together in some way. I'm thinking a marble backsplash, possibly in a herringbone, for the touch of glam. And it will have dimension because it will have, um, multiple colors because there's a lot of variation in the actual stone, marble stone. 
So I was thinking I would do a marble backsplash, white quartz countertops, white cabinets, and then the floor will be kind of like a cement looking pattern. Not like industrial cement, more like rustic cement. Does that make sense? Anyway, that's what I'm thinking, but I was like, you know, oh well, I'll just wait until I get the countertops to decide. When my mom just called me and was like, the guy wants to lay the floor now. And I'm like, what? So it's one of those things where like, you you get a, a worker that's that sucks and you kind of get used to this like slow process. And I was full of anxiety in the beginning, wanted to go, go, go. I had to pivot because this guy was so fucking slow. And now this guy's so fast that I'm like, what? We have to get floor ready? So I'm glad that, I mean, I probably spent two hours last night like looking at tile. I don't, I don't. But there's a lot of decisions to be made and the problem with tile is that once it's there, it's there. Especially with floor. Getting tile off the floor, changing tile once it's laid on the floor is like horrendous. I did that in my last house and they had to take like a jackhammer literally to get the tile up. It's a huge process. So I want to be smart. I don't want to do something too trendy. I want something timeless that will go with anything if I change cabinet color or I change countertops or backsplash because backsplash is a little bit easier. Even if I do tile, it's still easier to take out than flooring. On top of all that, there's a budget. So it's just a lot, it's a lot, of, things to, a lot of things to think about. And this is my first like real home that's mine where my last home was owned by my ex. No, it was our home. He owned it. So this is like mine and I get to make all the decisions. Not that I didn't get to make all the decisions before, but I'm trying to make different decisions because I don't want to live in the same house that I designed when I, where I lived with my ex. You know what I mean? Even though I love the style of the kitchen I did over there. Mm, it was so beautiful. But... I don't want to be reminded of that house. I want this to be its own thing. It's, it's fresh, it's new, and, and it's an opportunity for me to play, you know? But in a timeless way. <laughs> Hope that makes sense. Anyway, we're going to Home Depot today, I guess. I had no plans to do that, but that's what we're gonna do. And we're going to pick out the flooring. I hope they have, like, I just, I hope they have something amazing i want to love it you know but this guy's ready to put it in like today so it's not like i can dick around no pressure no pressure okay guys so we just got back from home depot and these are the flooring tiles that i have chosen um i picked these because they had a very organic concrete feel to them i am going with a white grout but it's not going to be a super white grout like the counters it's going to be a muted um, it's called snow white so it's not super bright at all but it does give contrast um i was trying to decide whether or not i was going to lay the tiles in this like herringbone shape this is what i did in my previous house with a marble tile um or a marble porcelain but marble patterned tile um but i but i do love it i think it makes a statement all on its own the kitchen still looks like this did plug the fridge in though and that's working so that's good um but yeah so i think i have to research the backsplash but i think i'm gonna go with a marble brick a three by six marble brick and i'm not exactly sure the pattern but i think i'm going to go vertical I think I'm gonna do three rows of vertical um, and I'm gonna have them slightly stacked. So that they'll be stacked, but like uh, slightly off. And I ordered the hardware, I'm doing black hardware. I got European style, so they're very thin. And I got T-bars for the drawers and circle knobs for the cabinets. So uh, yeah, that is the, that's the plan. So 
here is what the kitchen is looking like where I'm in the middle of painting. Obviously I've got paint supplies everywhere and I've got the floor covered. Um, but the fridge is in place, uh, the microwave is in place, the stove is in place. This is not all final. This is where it's going, but they're not all like, this is, all the cabinets are not screwed in just yet. My sink obviously is an end because they have to come uh, on Wednesday to template. So when you get new countertops, they literally lay out something and they template it so they can have exact measurements. Um, so we did put a piece of plywood over the dishwasher for now, just so that I would have some kind of counter space. But again, this isn't, they're not screwed into the wall yet. That's happening tomorrow. My fridge is where it's going. It's in its spot. But then these cabinets are not done yet. So I have a pantry down there and a small cabinet. And then this cabinet's going above it. My washer dryer is going here. And we're going to go countertop all the way over to the pantry here. So this is, will be a laundry area, basically. Um, and then up here will be a 30 inch cabinet to match with this that's 30 inches. And here I'm gonna do some open shelving over the washer dryer. I'm obsessed with my floors. They're kind of dirty right now because we're doing all kinds of shit, but I love them. I think they came out so good. I'm so happy with this tile. I'm glad that I went with it. It has like that rustic vibe I wanted that looks like stone slash cement, but these are porcelain tiles. So um, yeah, and then my backsplash obviously doesn't go up until the countertops are in. Do I have the countertops? No, I had a sample of what the countertops looked like, but I don't know where it is right now. Anyway, so yeah, we're starting to look like a real kitchen in here. Um, this is my peninsula. So these cabinets here will be right here where the um, ladder is right here. And then the doorway will be here going out into the living room. And this is the living room. So this is all gonna be one open room. This living room was so small with that wall there, but now this feels like a very big open space. I don't even think I can get it all in the camera, but it feels like a, a big open space and it really made this house look a lot bigger because it's only a thousand square feet, this house. So it's a very small house, which is fine for purposes of me and my two dogs. Um, and down here, I was just gonna give you a quick peek at the fitness room and the progress in here. All this stuff on my treadmill is going on the back patio, all of this, um, but we have stuff out there right now. The side of the house is not finished where we had to replace the window. So we gotta do that. We're gonna paint the floor out there. So for now, that stuff is in here. And then I got these blinds and they're gonna go up, these bamboo blinds. But I got these floors and I love them. These are from Floor Pops. They are foam interlocking tiles. How cute are they? And they're foam. So. They are like a gym floor, but like cute, you know? So I love that. Um, these are on my Amazon store if you guys are interested. And then I got a little holder for my dumbbells, which are coming tomorrow. I guess the movers are coming tomorrow. I put these hooks on the wall here so that I could do all different bands and stuff, but the movers have all of my fitness equipment. This is my olive tree. It will not live here permanently. It's just here temporarily. I'm excited that I have a TV in here. Um, I gotta do something about the cord, but I will be able to watch the TV from my treadmill. And I love that for me. Night in the new house. It's been a crazy day. Uh, the movers came yesterday and I only have some boxes in the house. My couch is still in its box. Um, I've been unpacking a majority of the day. Look at my new rug, isn't it so cute? Just came today. Um, this is my peninsula, unfinished obviously. The countertops are not in yet because they're coming tomorrow to template them. So um, 
the sink doesn't go in yet um, and none of these countertops go in. There have been a few changes. Uh, we have decided to stack the washer dryer uh, and that is going to be better because this door, we were having issues with the washer sticking out and this door, long story and I'm too tired, but I just wanted to show you guys, we're not done painting, there's still paint because of, they had to fix something in the ceiling. Um, but I'm about to go get the dogs. <laughs> So I had to pull up all the paper. There's still paint kind of stuck to the floor, but at least the, all the loose particles are vacuumed and the floor has been mopped, even though it doesn't look it, it's going to need like serious scrubbing because it's just, it's bad. But there's nothing loose that the dogs could potentially sniff, eat, or get hurt from. So um, all of these rooms back here are totally puppy proof. Um, but I am going to close, actually, I'm gonna close this up for now. Oh, I put up blinds. I'll show you guys those tomorrow. So my bed is set up for now. Just, I put that picture there just to kind of see what it was gonna look like if I put it there. But um, yeah, so my bed is up and like semi-made. It's wrinkly and messy and I have suitcases of clothes, but at least this is doggy ready. I put Gunnar's little stairs there for now. So we have a place for pups. So I'm about to go pick them up and introduce them to their new home. I'm not wearing shoes in the house because I did just clean all of the floors. So off we go. <music> brought them home introduced them to the new house I didn't film it because it was a little bit chaotic I mean they were a little bit all over the place plus it was nighttime um, and we, I was exhausted so um, they actually acclimated very quickly I think it's because they could smell the familiar sense of my belongings because um, I I did manage to pull quite a bit out of the boxes and stuff like that. So, plus my bed was there and stuff like that. So I think that it was familiar, like they smelled home. So they didn't, they were like, okay, this is weird, but also familiar. So they sniffed every square inch of the house and then that was it. They were like, all right, cool. This is our new digs, got it. So, um, they were fine. And then yesterday, Ranger, over here. Uh, yesterday, I spent the day unpacking my entire kitchen and trying to assign spots for everything or unpack the rest of my kitchen because I had started it the day before. Um, what else did I do? I did the kitchen. I did some of my closet, um, the dog stuff. I haven't touched my beauty room. That's the, that's the one room I have not touched. I did some of my fitness room. Ran into some snags. Um, the new blinds we got, one of them isn't working right. Need to fix that. And then I put a bunch of stuff out here on the patio. So I put my rug down on this patio. I think I need another one though, because there's all this empty patio. I did keep it way back from the side for now because there's, when it rains here, rain is a serious thing. <laughs> it downpours and there's overspray that comes into this area. And I don't want my stuff to get wet it is more forward than it needs to be. I need to stand up and stop being lazy because when I rolled the rug out, it was, you know, the curls. So I put the furniture on the edging for now so that it can help straighten it out. But this actually goes back probably to about here. But I do have about a two foot gap that I'm just gonna put like plants or whatever, I don't know. 
Um, but I still have this whole side of the patio that doesn't have carpet. So what I think ultimately I'm gonna do is order another one of these and turn it this way and have them be side by side. I'll have my sofa and stuff on this side. And on this side, I think I'm going to do like an art studio type of a vibe um, with a table and chairs and an easel and my paints. Um, because I do paint. I have an Etsy shop, but I'm going to be expanding on my Etsy shop. I just haven't been able to because I haven't had any time. So I'm going to set that up. And I feel like this space is like pretty... Um, I don't know, inspirational, I guess. It's quiet. And then these things, these are some of the planters. There's a couple of them stacked and stuff from um, my old place. And then this is the new Ikea one that I got. And this is my new rock fountain. I'm so excited for this. I got this on Lamps Plus Open Box. Little known fact, Lamps Plus has an open box website, not sponsored, um, where they have things discounted. And did I get this on that site? Or maybe I got it on Lamps Plus regular for like super discount. But anyway, I got it on sale. And it's got that earthy vibe to it. These things light up and the water comes through and it looks like real rocks. And I'm obsessed. I think it's going to be so cute when it's all set up with plants. So I'm going to kind of set that situation up here. Um, and then I've got obviously my string lights. I open those up because this light up here isn't working. I think I need a new bulb. So I pulled these out last night. Um, and I have another set here and I've got some fairy lights. I've got a lantern, um, that's still at my mom's. And then a couple things. I got this tray and a citronella candle from Home Goods. I brought out here last night. I got to take the tags off still. Home Goods. $14.99 for this cute tray. And I put like a plant up there or something. Maybe my lantern. I don't know. Whatever. These back pillows that come with this set, one of them's missing. This one doesn't have one, if you notice. These all do. I don't know where it is. It's like they lost it. It's not so strange. I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of pissed. So if I can get just that from Ikea, I'm probably going to get a replacement. And then I think I might get an additional section to go here to make this couch a little bit bigger. I don't know if I'll do it now, but at some point I probably will because it's a little small and this space is so big that I think, you know, having an, an additional one would be nice, but you know, it's not something I'm going to do today. Look at these two. Hmm. <laughs> You are so cute. Spent the day unpacking and trying to acclimate the pups a little bit more. Took them on a walk. I'm now drinking um, lemon, sugar-free lemony dish. It's like lemon juice, water, stevia, ice. So refreshing. Anyway. Um, I'm waiting for my mom to get here. She went and picked up my new dryer. So she has a trailer. So she went to get that. And then she's coming here. So thirsty. Uh, to drop it off. So I'm waiting for her. And then I'm um, going to eat dinner. Uh, that is it for my update. Well, here we are. Today is the 30th. And as promised, <laughs> I'm gonna show you around. Um, as you can see, it is an absolute mess. This is all decor just thrown there because it has nowhere to live yet. Um, I've got, you know, stuff literally everywhere, doggy gates. My sofa is still in the box. I still have a shop vac here, which is my mom's, and the floor still has paint on it. The ceiling, where we tore the wall down, as you can see, still needs a coat of paint because it was a textured ceiling. So we had to spray the texture on, and it's not the same color, obviously, as the rest of the ceiling. So we have to paint that. That's why these are still wrapped up. Um, I have to take the trash out, no judgments. 
the countertops obviously are still not here, but like I said, they did measure for them. So they should be here by November 20th. Oh, and this is broken items. I can't even tell you how many things came broken from the movers. This isn't like a hundred dollar Jonathan Adler vase or anything. No big deal. Lots of stuff came broken. I took photos. I'm going to bitch. Laundry area still is laundry area. This box hasn't been completed yet and we have the dryers in the garage and needs to be stacked because my mom dropped it off yesterday. Um, what else? My stove is looking like a stove, so that's cool. I got this little um, utensil thing. It's like a concrete looking utensil holder. And I got this at Home Goods. Um, oh, my first bar stool is put together. My mom brought it over and put it together. This is from World Market. I love these bar stools. I think they're gonna look so cool in here. And I got my runner there, which Amazon also. Um, the bathroom is still a mess. This is my kitchen sink for the time being. So we're just gonna ignore that. And then my shower area um, is coming together here. I actually put hooks on the wall for my towels. This is my bathroom, which is the same as it was. Puppy stairs and my bed is all put together. Um, I think I showed you guys this already. Still not sure about those that artwork, but it is what it is. Um, we have a gunner bear in his natural habitat. Spotted one black bear in his natural habitat. This dog, he he's so happy to be back with cozy pillows and the bed. And this one. You're a happy boy too, huh? So my closet, I started to put together. This is a very small closet, so I'm a little troubled by it. I just have stuff shoved in there, but I did put some things on hangers. Stuff up there has to go into a dresser, and this stuff has to go in the dresser too when the dresser arrives. But I'm going to my mom's today to fix it to finish it. Fitness room, okay. <clears throat> this room is somewhat coming together here. I have to hang the artwork. There I am, and all my five extra pounds of glory. So this is all kind of coming together. I have to blow this ball up right now. And then the patio, you guys already saw, it's just sitting there for now. Um, what else? The, oh my God, you ready for the bomb? This is where the bomb went off. This place this is a disaster. It's a disaster. There's just stuff everywhere. This room is what is going to be last. Absolutely last. Um, so I will be working on that over the weekend. <laughs> this vlog but before I do I wanted to show you my coffee table because I brought it in it's been sitting at my mom's so here she is <laughs> I have stuff all over it but here's the thing um it's marble and I put a, a wine glass on it last night it had a ring like this right here Huge. I put a wine glass on it for like two seconds and it had a massive ring mark. So I put baking soda on the ring mark and dribbled water and made kind of like a paste and it took it off. So that's great, but I'm going to have to get some kind of a sealer for this, I think, because it is real marble and um, yeah, real marble is overrated new lamp i actually got this lamp a while ago but it's been in a box because i had nowhere to put it so i brought it out and turned it on last night and i'm obsessed i got this from target i love it i think it's absolutely perfect for the vibe that i'm going for in here and hopefully today 
I will make some sense of this and I will be able to get this living room set up. That's what I really wanna do. Um, I'm in my pajamas, by the way. Pajamas, just chilling with coffee. Um, it's kind of a gloomy day out right now, but that's fine with me because I'm just in the house working. So I don't know if I mentioned this, but my rug and my, like there's still some stuff at my mother's house, bottom line. So I have to go get that, get this stuff set up and then I'm gonna work on my beauty room. And by next month, you should see like a finished house. Yep, that's exciting. I'm really excited. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. I have no idea per usual what I got for footage and stuff. I have like dreadlocks back here. What is this about? I have no idea what I have for footage, but I hope you enjoyed the vlog anyway. Thanks so much for hanging out with me this month and I will see you guys soon. I just wanna hold you.